So we clearly have a lot of treatment options for metastatic castration-resistant prostate cancer. And as a clinician, it's, they seem to be helping the patients quite a bit. However, there are not a lot of answers about the sequencing of these agents, whether or not you can use them together. There are four different mechanisms of action, which is, which is great, um, but we can enhance them. For example, cipollucil T, maybe there's another immune approach to get prostate cancer. We still need more cures, complete responses, and durable remissions. Um, so we're all seeking those things. The Keynote 641 study is a phase three study that randomizes patients to enzalutamide, an already FDA approved drug, plus pembrolizumab, an immunotherapy drug, a PD-1 inhibitor, versus enzalutamide plus placebo. The patients are randomized in a one-to-one -one fashion. Um, patients will all get enzalutamide, which is important because that's a standard of care drug, um, but they won't know if they're on the immunotherapy or the placebo. So the eligibility criteria are, they have to be a man with metastatic castration resistant prostate cancer, uh, no chemotherapy for MCRPC, but it's okay if it was given earlier in the disease before it became castration resistant. They uh, can have received abiraterone. They cannot have received any of the other androgen receptor blockers. So enzalutamide, darolutamide, and apalutamide. The biomarker question is a huge one. We are treating, you know, many, 12 different cancer types now with these immunotherapy drugs. And in almost all cases, only a minority of patients have a cancer response. And these drugs can also lead to severe toxicities. So finding out who's gonna respond is critical. Um, a lot of people have looked at the cancer cells themselves, including like which mutations are present, what receptors are present on the membrane, um, and not found a definitive answer. So um, one of our approaches uh, in, in a parallel study, not, not the Keynote 641, is to look at the gut microbiome and think about other host factors. So the host's immune system or um, you know, microbiome might be playing a big role in this. Well, we have a clinical trial of cabazitaxel, which is an, you know, a chemotherapy agent combined with enzalutamide. So among the six currently approved drugs, there are multiple combinations being explored. And then there are some combinations with PARP inhibitors at this point. So those drugs that target certain mutations, like BRCA is a big one. Um, there are a lot of trials combining two different types of immunotherapy agents, so pembrolizumab, you know, the one I described, drugs like that with CD, CTLA-4 blockers and um, other vaccines, anything to enhance the immune system.